This week I'm building the leaderboard project, so last week I designed it, and this week I'm trying to implement it. project with the layout and uh, later I will move the components um, to, to react components it shouldn't take much longer because uh, it will be like um, copy paste later to react components It's Friday in the evening, this is how the app looks right now. Uh, I would say it's ready and uh, ready to go uh, when it comes for this iteration. The default tab is uh, less 40 days and the user can change the tab to all times, uh, where the total amount of points is the priority. The list needs a moment to load, that's why I introduced the intro screen here with loading the leader's graphics. The app is built with uh, Bootstrap, partially with Flexbox, and uh, of course with React and SAS according to the requirements. Um, I introduced a few changes regarding the previous design. They were usually about the position where something stored or about the font sizes. Uh, for example, here, this Free Code Camp Leaders headline is much bigger than in the, uh, in the designs. And also, 
when we talk about wider screens, uh, in order to keep the visual hierarchy better, uh, I also um, made the badges and uh, the username bigger. The app is accessible from the keyboard and you can access each um, Freecode Camp leader from here and go to the, your Freecode Camp um, profile. The previous apps that I did with React.js were either bigger, uh, like GitHub Battle, that was done with Webpack, or smaller. As a result, uh, here I had to stop around and rethink how to do it, how to implement it, what to start with, do I really need Webpack, and things like that. It was really problematic because for a moment I didn't know really what to do. And then I started copying uh, and pasting from the previous apps. Uh, and doing it step by step, checking if uh, what I copied works. And it did. Um, so that's how I, uh, that, that's why I defeated this problem. This was a really a problematic moment this week because I didn't know what to do for a moment and your motivation falls down. But when it started working, it dried up again. Next week I'm going to start a new app. It will be the recipe box. It is quite a big app, so probably it will take me longer than uh, a week to do it uh, if I want to really polish it. Um, but I will start it. This week I also found a very interesting uh, resource about uh, JavaScript, about vanilla JavaScript. I will share it also in the video description below. It's the series called JavaScript 30, uh, which is about 30 tasks uh, and 30 solutions to these tasks. Um, and this is the challenge to build 30 new projects with vanilla JavaScript. All of them should be built with vanilla JavaScript, so no frameworks and you have to deal with them on your own, just only with uh, JS. That's why it can be pretty challenging and pretty fun. And I will really have to find time to look into it. So the project is done. You can see it as the one who does slash leaderboard. I will put the link in the video description below. Keep on doing and see you next week.